Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann and I'm about to get real with you. So it's um, surgery week time and I'm feeling a little nervous. I made a friend in another group, um, like a weight loss surgery group and uh, she has the same surgery date as me. So shout out to Nina if you're watching this. Um, she lives in Pennsylvania, I'm in Maine, so it's not like we're gonna get to see each other or meet each other um, or be in the same hospital together, but it's kind of neat to have that partner, that um, person that you can kind of share the feelings that you're having right now, because this week I'm feeling very different than I've felt um, in a while. I'm really nervous, I'm, I'm nervous, excited. It's not like scared nervous um, because I know I'm going to be in good hands. I know that it's the right decision for me. Um, I think we kind of go through these, um, is this the right thing kind of thoughts, you know, am I doing the right thing? Um, so I'm, I'm only sharing this with you guys because I want you to know that if you are going through the same thing, that you're not alone. It's, it's, I believe it's a very common feeling because both her and I are feeling this right now. Um, knowing that we're, you know, four, five days out. Um, the liquid diet has been fairly simple. Um, it really hasn't been as hard as I thought it was going to be. I feel like the first few days were the roughest. And then after that, it was like, okay, this is what I'm eating. This is what I'm drinking, not eating, but drinking. And I'm good with it. Um, I think variety is key. Knowing that you, well, on my plan, I can have um, no sugar hot cocoa. I can have things like um, cream of healthy request cream of chicken soup, healthy request tomato soup. Um, you know, I, I think that as long as you choose the gamut of what you're allowed to do during the liquid diet phase, that you're gonna be you're gonna be fine. Has it been hard? Yeah, this weekend I had an event um, and of course they had hot dog stands and burgers and what we call around here puts in and um, just some really great bakery things and it was really tough knowing that it was there and smelling it occasionally. Um, but I would just go into my food bag and I would grab a yogurt, a non-fat Greek yogurt or I would just... Um, drink some more water or um, have one of my shakes. And so it really hasn't been that bad. And again, I really believe that all of this kind of thing is mind over matter, just like quitting cigarettes. Um, the first week was how long it took, you know, for the nicotine, five days to get out of your body. And then after that, you're fighting a habit, you're fighting cravings that are in your head. Um, and I think this is kind of the same thing. I've had no coffee, I've had no tea. I could have probably had tea at some point, but I don't know. Um, you know, so, and, and coffee was huge for me. So up, you know, a couple weeks prior to the start of my liquid diet, I had gone to half calf, which helped with the caffeine. Um, I did have a headache the first couple days, but I think that's par for the course. Like I said, it was the first two or three days that were the toughest, um, but once you get through that, it's pretty simple. So today I'm feeling that surreal feeling like, oh my God, it's already, I'm in the week of my surgery. I have like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday is D-Day. Um, and I feel anxious, nervous, excited. There's some of that second guessing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling, um, thoughtful. Like I find myself thinking a lot, um, about it. And what I think about mostly is what it's going to be like after, like the things I'm going to be able to do, the, the, you know, my grandkids, um, what I'm going to be able to do with them, what I'm going to look like, how I'm going to feel, the energy that I'm going to have, the things that I normally am doing now that cause me to get out of breath, 
to be able to easily do that, not to have to take handfuls of medicine in the morning. I mean, there's just so many things that I'm thinking about that I'm so anxious for this process to really begin. And although in the last two weeks I've been doing the liquid diet, my loss, my, my weight loss has started um, because my highest weight that I ever registered at was 253.4 pounds. Um, and that was on the doctor's scale. This morning or yesterday morning um, on my scale, which there seems to be kind of a three pound-ish difference, mine's typically um, lower than what theirs is. So that's kind of <laughs> what I have to take into consideration. However, um, yesterday it registered at 238.6. Um, so that's about 14 pounds loss since the beginning of this journey. And one of the things that I have realized is that even on this liquid diet, um, the tomato soup, the cream of chicken soup are high in carbs, not high, but this cream of chicken is higher than the tomato soup. Um, and so if I choose to have one of those every day, I'm adding carbs to my diet that I typically wouldn't have if I was just doing shakes. Um, so knowing that could potentially be my body saying, I'm going to hang on to this because it seems like you're starving me. <laughs> um, you know, and yesterday was my birthday. I would have loved to have had birthday cake. Birthday cake is my favorite food. I didn't have any. My husband bought me a pair of rocking chairs for our front deck, which is something that I've been wanting for a long time. And so to me, that was better than the cake. Um, and I'm finding that I'm just having to change my view on how I see things. We're such a socially food-driven people, right? We, we let's go out for coffee. Let's go have dinner. Um, you know, we socially, socially eat all the time. And even this weekend, it's been habit in the past that after we finished closing up, packing up, putting everything in the van and setting off to be home, um, we would stop to eat dinner somewhere. And yesterday we didn't do that. So, you know, sometimes it's just changing how your typical things that you do um, as a ritual change. You gotta change those things and, and it's hard because you were creatures of habit, right? So we prefer to do things that we've done before and that have that we've found comforting. Um, one of the things that I have found, and this is a very strange realization, but um, I was sharing this with my husband the other night, is that prior to the liquid diet, um, I found comfort in food. And my husband used to always say, oh, if you're not feeling good, if you, you know, if you want to, you know, relax or whatever, go take a hot shower, go take a nice shower, Edie. He would say that and I'd be like, mm, that doesn't tempt me. Shower, I mean, not that I'm not clean because I'm very clean, um, but showers to me aren't necessarily relaxing, especially at my size. It's hard to clean myself. It's stressful. Um, it's a small confined area for me, especially as I'm larger and I just feel that it's a not, it's not a relaxing event like it is for him. Um, but since I've stopped eating and going to the comfort food that I normally would go to, um, I've been thinking about showers, which is a strange thing. So it's like, oh, that would be nice to go take a shower. <laughs> And so sometimes I find myself taking, you know, two showers or three showers um, extra and making it a relaxing event that I'm not feeling rushed and that I can just kind of stand there and let the hot water pour over me and, you know, let the stress kind of go down the drain kind of a thing. And I, it's a very, like I said, it's a very strange thing for me because I always ran to food for comfort, um, not water. And both drinking and showering. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to come and share um, some thoughts with you guys as I prepare this week for my surgery on Friday. Uh, we're going to be leaving 
on Thursday so that we can um, spend the night in a hotel. It is a four and a half to five hour drive, so it's not something that we're gonna do that morning. I have to arrive at the hospital at 5.30 for surgery at 7.30. So very excited, very anxious. Like I said, there's a lot of different emotions and feelings that are going through me right now. Um, they're culpable, I'm, I'm able to deal with them. It's not like it's completely overwhelming me, but it's feelings like I've not been this nervous um, since the first time I went and sang on a stage in front of people. That's kind of the same nerves that I'm feeling. It's excited nerves, um, but it's like ugh, nerves, if that makes sense. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing or that you had an amazing weekend and that you're going to have an amazing week. Um, I will take some prayers, um, if you have them, uh, otherwise go and make it an amazing day for you and for somebody else and pay it forward with kindness. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.